Greetings. I'm Dr. Laila Macharia, Chair and Co-Founder of the Africa Digital Media Group, which includes the Africa Digital Media Institute, Accelerated and the Talent Trove. The world as we know it is changing. The signs are all around us. It's in the way we work, do business, how we learn and teach, how we communicate, how we receive healthcare, how we keep fit, the way we entertain and how we travel. Basically, every facet of our lives. All of these changes are attributed to one thing, technology. We stand on the brink of the fourth industrial revolution. The first industrial revolution, as we know, was characterized by water and steam power being used to automate production. It started at the end of the 18th century to the beginning of the 19th. The biggest changes came in the industries in the form of mechanization. At that time, people witnessed massive extraction of coal, along with the significant invention of the steam engine. The second industrial revolution used electricity to enhance mass production. It started at the end of the 19th century with massive technological advancements in industries that helped the emergence of a new source of energy. Electricity, gas and oil as well as new methods of communication, such as the telegraph and the telephone. It also heralded the inventions of the automobile and the plane. The third industrial revolution automated production using technology. With this, we saw the rise of electronics, telecommunications, and of course, computers. The third industrial revolution, with the democratization of the internet at its core, opened the doors to space expeditions, research, and biotechnology, and now the fourth. The fourth industrial revolution is largely driven by four specific technological developments. High-speed mobile internet, artificial intelligence and automation, the use of big data analytics and cloud technology. Already, artificial intelligence or AI is all around us, from self-driving cars and drones to virtual assistants and software that helps us translate or invest Impressive progress has been made in AI in recent years. The exact progression of the fourth industrial revolution is still largely unknown because the speed of current breakthroughs has no historical precedent. When compared with previous industrial revolutions, the fourth is evolving at an exponential pace, disrupting almost every industry in almost every country. As ambiguous as the progression of the fourth industrial revolution may seem, some things are certain. One, Almost every aspect of life, from medical care to education, from transportation to employment, will be affected by these innovations. This will once more change everything about our lives, the way we work, live, teach, and relate to one another. Two, it has the potential to dramatically increase the quality of life and the standard of living for people all around the world. Three, the rapid and constant change means the world must work together to develop a comprehensive response to this revolution. This technology has introduced new products and services that have drastically improved the quality of our lives. Now, everyday tasks like playing a game, ordering a cab, making a flight reservation, paying a bill, or watching a movie are just a click away. Future technology advancements will also result in long-term increases in productivity and efficiency. There is no doubt that the fourth industrial revolution has raised our global economy and income levels. It can improve the quality of life and has provided new products and services to millions of the world's citizens. We have been able to enjoy the digital world's efficiency through online shopping, digital wallets, ride sharing, telemedicine and entertainment. In summary, the fourth industrial revolution is a beacon of both hope and ambiguity. New forms of collaboration are necessary given how quickly innovation and disruption are occurring. The advent of these technological advancements and other new business models calls for a re-evaluation of people, culture and organizational structures. COVID-19 forced a number of changes on us as a society. One of the biggest was to force social activities, the world of work, and almost everything else to go online. This trend of enabling people to connect in the way they want, where they want, and when they want is here to stay. The pandemic showed the world how feasible it is to operate remotely. 
Many industries have expanded their work at home capacity, at least for the types of jobs where this makes sense. If you're in this room, you've witnessed digital transformation in multiple industries, including yours. A survey by Deloitte and MIT Sloan revealed that 87% of respondents were not only aware of digital transformation, but also believed that these transformations would disrupt their industries. We're here to give leaders like you the knowledge they need to navigate the revolutionary new competitive landscape that digital disruption brings. You may be tempted to think that technology itself is the key to digitally transforming your organization. It's not completely wrong. Technology is important. But what's even more critical is your people, your team. The greatest challenge you'll face in your journey to digital transformation is your people. Great digital strategies first require great talent. Technologies no longer provide a sustained competitive edge due to the many players in the market and low entry barriers. So you must be innovative, inventive, foreseeing, adapting, and developing new value models. And you can only do this with the right talent in place. For leaders, digital transformation involves more than just adopting technology. It involves transforming organizational culture, business models, and business processes using technology. Let's look at the case of AT&T. Randall Stevenson, AT&T's former CEO, understood that for his company to thrive, it had to be the networking enabler and solutions provider to the most disruptive companies in the world, such as Apple. He knew he had to disrupt his own workforce in the process. Stevenson said, we felt a fundamental obligation to reskill our workforce. We did not have enough internal people with the skills to be led effectively through this change or the technical knowledge of what we are selling or the technical knowledge of what is behind what we are selling. They needed a strategy. Stevenson explains further, the idea is to be totally transparent with our employees about where the business is heading and what the challenges will be. That message gets filtered down through managers so that eventually every employee has a broad understanding of the company's objectives for the next 12 to 14 months. Employees bought into the company's vision. They said, just give me the tools, point me in the right direction, help me make the transition seamless and make it cost effective, mobile and web based so that I can do it on my own time. You can see from the case of AT&T that the employees had the right mindset and the right attitude and quickly bought into the company's new strategy for digital transformation. All of these technological shifts that we're discussing really just call for a renewed mindset. You need people who can change, grow and be agile. Once you have successfully addressed the mindset in your organization, it's now time to focus on skills. Sadly, most major economies are struggling to find the workers they need to thrive in this fourth industrial revolution. A 2021 Ipsos Udacity study of more than 2,000 managers in the United States, United Kingdom, France and Germany found that nearly 59% of employers say that a lack of skills has a major impact on their business. 50% also report that digital transformation initiatives are lagging due to a lack of adoption or engagement among employees. The tech sector in particular is severely challenged with a full 83% of hiring managers lamenting the detrimental impact of the technical talent crunch on business growth. Additionally, according to a Gartner employee poll, 70% of participants haven't mastered the abilities required for their present work, and up to 80% report that they lack the skills necessary for both their current position and their future careers. Is your team prepared for the future of work? Most advanced economies, Japan included, now need to do more than just inculcate a digital DNA in their organizations. Developed countries will not be fully prepared for the future of work unless they address one of the greatest challenges they are faced with, an aging population. The majority of people on earth will now for the first time in history live to be at least 60 years old. In addition to living longer, people are also now healthier, working longer. In the United States, 23% of the workforce is above the age of 55. In Canada, more than one third of those over 55 are still employed. And in the UK, 27% of the workforce is over 50. Organizations looking to attract and retain talent face unprecedented challenges as a result of the demographic shift towards an aging workforce. According to the Deloitte 2018 Global Human Capital Trend Study, 
Population aging poses a workforce issue for both economies and enterprises. By 2020, 13 nations, up from three in 2014, have super-aged populations, where more than one in five citizens were 65 or older. These include developed nations with significant economies like the US, the UK, Japan, Germany, France, and South Korea. According to projections, China population aged 65 and over would more than triple from about 100 million in 2005 to over 329 million in 2050. Scientists predict that by 2030, Asia would be home to 60% of the world's population over 65. According to these studies, the birth rate in almost all industrialized nations is below the replacement rate, or the rate of newborns who will eventually replace the current generation, creating a potentially disastrous talent shortage. A shortfall of about 1 million workers in 2015 and 2016 is projected to have cost the Japanese economy over $90 billion. With a median age of 48, the highest in the world, Japan is the world's fastest aging country, the nation with the oldest population in the world. According to the Population Reference Bureau, Africans are expected to make up 42% of the world's youth by 2030. And the continent's working age population will increase from 705 million in 2018 to over 1 billion in 2030. While it is estimated that 60% of the world's population over 65 will live in Asia by 2030, statistics show that the opposite is true for Africa. Africa is the continent with the youngest and fastest growing population, making it the continent with the most untapped talent worldwide. Simply put, anyone looking to find the next generation of the digital workforce should start focusing on Africa. As more and more countries invest in basic secondary and tertiary education, and with affordable and convenient internet connectivity, African tech talent is being trained, vetted, coordinated and supervised to deliver on a range of tech tasks from the most basic to the most sophisticated. Take Usiku Games for example. They're training African youth to create socially impactful games. They built a 6,000 square foot shared community center and made it open to all of Kenya's independent and aspiring game developers to earn, share and create. I absolutely believe that, uh, just as a personal philosophy, that talent and intelligence are equally distributed around the world, but opportunity is not. And so what we're trying to do is to create the opportunity for the people who are on the ground in Africa, who have the talent, have the intelligence, have the desire to build these amazing businesses and amazing games, um, and give them the tools to do that. And what we found is that if you give somebody a, a really powerful gaming PC with an NVIDIA GPU and Unreal 5 or Maya or, or 3DS Max or whatever tools it may be, they wind up being really on par with the developer anywhere else in the world. It, it becomes a, a huge leveler. What we're doing is unlocking the potential of the continent, of these what's going to be many thousands of creatives uh, around Africa who then are going to start creating truly world-class uh, games with the stories that this continent has had and celebrated for thousands of years but have never been told around the world. And so that's what we're doing and we're unlocking that potential. And I truly believe that the youth in Africa have just, you know, huge opportunities to build this industry. Africa is closely watched as the next big growth market, a description that has persisted for a while. There are many reasons for optimism. The African continent is home to some of the youngest populations in the world. It promises to be a major consumption market over the next three decades, and it's increasingly mobile phone enabled. The Harvard Business Review created a framework called the African Leapfrog Index, ALI, to evaluate the technological capabilities of African countries. Kenya and South Africa emerged as the more advanced countries technologically. Another indicator of the maturity of Africa's tech ecosystem is global tech firms, significantly increasing their presence on the continent. Microsoft, for instance, opened one of its two Africa Development Center, ADC locations in Nairobi, Kenya, and is seeking to hire at least 450 full-time staff members. At Microsoft Africa Development Center, we are keen to drive di digital skilling broadly in two ways. At the university level, partnering with the world of academia, 
how do we ensure that graduates are ready for the job market? How do we ensure that they have the required capabilities that once they hit the job market, already start creating an impact? Second one, we're working with industry players. Through the Microsoft Leap program, a 16-week immersive uh, session, we work with folks or individuals who already have basic technical skills, but they want to grow them even further. Be it, say, senior software engineers, do you want to grow further in gaming? Do you want to grow further in cloud? This way, so we train both individuals at Microsoft and also at industry level. For its forthcoming product development center in Nairobi, the company's first such location in Africa, Google stated it was hiring around 100 personnel. These hubs are fueling the rise of digitally savvy young people who are every bit as trained and driven as workers any place else. This sends a positive message to the rest of the world that Africa, often referred to as the continent of the future, is making the efforts needed to compete with the rest of the world and create a brighter future for itself. What does Africa need in exchange for providing quality labor? Job opportunities, high quality opportunities to provide high quality work not aid. At the Africa Digital Media Institute, we have for over 10 years been working to give Africa's creative and techies a platform to turn their passion into a profession. We do this by offering training, mentorship, and a platform for young people to create work for profit and for impact. Join us.